This channel is made possible by viewers like you. My viewers, subscribers, and patrons greatly help to keep this channel going. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all of you. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, please check out my Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you'll get access to what I'm working on, previews of upcoming content, and even early videos, along with other tier options for those that are interested. Thank you, and now on to the video. Like I have said before, sometimes some of the best experiences I have with a game is when I randomly come across it or see a brief clip of it on Twitter or YouTube, and something from it catches my eye. Now when I finally get my hands on a title like this, it can turn out that maybe this title wasn't going to be good after playing it for a bit. But in the other situations, and honestly the ones that I prefer, that when I sit down with this potentially overlooked game and it turns out to be good, well those cases are some of the best. I had that with Another Crusade. I had the opportunity to start diving into this one, and it's very much rooted in a more classic RPG design. And in some ways, if you enjoyed the combat from the recent Sea of Stars, you might also like this one as well. Another Crusade is a turn-based RPG with some active-like elements to its combat system. If you have played some of the Mario RPGs, then you kind of know what you're in for with this as well. For example, while in combat, actions like defense and attacking will require you to hit a button in addition to initiating the attack to essentially better your action. If you choose to do a physical attack to an enemy, if you hit the X button right as you're about to land your hit, you will do more damage. The same can be said for defense. Each time an enemy attacks you, if you hit the circle button right before they land their hit, they will do less damage, or in some cases, they won't do anything to you. The trick with this is that there are no meters or button prompts to look out for. It's all reading the actions of your characters and enemies. I honestly couldn't get the timing down at all for this one when I started playing, but after a handful of battles, I was starting to pick up on some stuff. I found it satisfying to do extra damage or negate some of the damage done to me. In some cases, you gotta really read your enemy's attacks, it can take a few battles to really get some of them down. Specials are a bit more involved, with you needing to hold down a button or hit it really fast or even rotate your stick to increase how much damage you do. These little things help to keep the action engaging. Another Crusade's combat very much has another layer of style to the game, and while it has you considering tactics that you would normally do in a game like this, you also need to improve reading your enemies and reaction time. There is some exploring as well with dungeons, with them having chests and crystals to find. The crystals provide your entire team with a permanent increase to one of their stats, and chests have useful items. The game doesn't indicate where these are, just how much you have left to find in an area. I did encounter some puzzles too. Simple so far, but they were a good break from the combat. I do wonder if the platforming becomes more involved as I keep going. Also, this game is pretty tough. I almost lost to the second boss. I find that grinding is a must to sort of give you that slight edge when you're trying to read the attacks from your enemies to know when to defend. One issue I noticed right away is the lack of an in-game map or mini-map. Overall, I'm liking this game, and it seems like this one might be a hidden gem for this year. Let me know if you're interested in me making more videos on this. Have you played Another Crusade? Let me know all of this in the comments down below. If you're interested in being notified of new videos, please hit the subscribe button and bell. And if you would like to support the channel and get early access to content, please check out my Patreon. All of the links will be at the end of this video and within the description. And thank you very much for watching.